Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3, and also to do with Season 4, because we're going to be talking about some theories as to how the Legion of Superheroes could stay on the show, and also regarding maybe the potential villains of Season 4. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. But I'm going to be doing a giveaway, all you need to do to be entered is to click on the link in the description below and go watch the video and comment on that video, and also be be sure to subscribe to my channel so that will get you entered into the giveaway for a superhero DVD of your choice so you can choose any that is on Amazon. But anyway on to today's video so we're going to be talking about some season 4 theories and so how I'm going to start this off is basically with the Legion of Superheroes being a big thing in the back half of season 3 you would have to presume that the TV show wouldn't actually want to throw these characters away considering they're spending this large amount of time building up these characters like Imra, Brainiac 5 and even extending on one else character who we explored quite heavily during season 2. With them being heavily involved in the season, you would have to assume there is plans for the future for the Legion. I feel like the best way of actually making the Legion stay here and maybe take a trip back to the future, tell their comrades what they're doing and actually come back in time, which I know poses the query how would they time travel, but remember we got the Flash and there is lots of ways of time travelling, we got Legends, there is lots of time travellers out there. So I have no doubt that if they wanted to go back to the future they could and if they wanted to go back, send a message, and then come back, they definitely could. But past that, it was introduced to us that a race of villains named the Blight are actually in the future and they're causing havoc, the rising darkness Imra described it as, and they are a huge threat in the future, and that's what the Legion's mission was until a segment of them, that being Monel's team, actually got sent back in time through a disruption and they ended up in present day. So the Blight are obviously a massive thing and I really do want to see it and I feel like we are are going to see it because otherwise what's the point in name dropping this specific race that are actually from DC Comics without them having any intention of using them. So soon I'm going to be explaining what the Blight is but first off I want to say in order for Legion to stay they're going to need a big storyline so I feel like if the Blight were the villains of season 4 and we went to the future for the predominant part of the season or somehow that the Blight got back in time that's part of their mission maybe to come back in time and ruin the Earth's history and so if they're introduced as as main villains for the Supergirl TV show and the characters that aren't the Legion of Superheroes but the people in our time that would give the Legion of Superheroes this segment a reason to actually stay here and maybe a reason for more Legion members to actually be introduced to the show. So the Blight in the comics they are techno organic beings from the 30th century in the comics and their bodies are composed of flesh and technology so they're practically like tech zombies that's how I would describe them and along the way they meet a race of aliens who are able to teleport them across galaxies so I feel like with the TV show they could use this as a way of actually bringing them to present day considering they don't have to follow the comics. The Supergirl TV show takes stuff from the comics from all over DC Comics but they don't adapt it really strictly so I feel like if they met this race known as Dota could actually be able to teleport them throughout time. I feel like that would be a better way than sort of introducing this boom tube type situation with the teleporting so I feel like if they switch that to time travel it would make a lot of sense and it would give a very solid reason as to how the Blight may we could get to present day where we are in time. So they actually originate from the Legion of Superheroes comic so it would make a lot of sense if they did that and I feel like that would be an awesome thing to actually do considering all the TV shows we normally have one central villain or a ragtag team of villains like on Arrow at the moment or the Legion of Doom from Legends of Tomorrow. I feel like if they had a whole race of villains I think that would raise the stakes even higher and that would make season 4 even better and it would give the Legion of Superheroes a reason to stick around because the blight, the rising darkness in the future has come back in time and our present day Supergirl and the DEO will have to team up with the Legion of Superheroes to take down the Blight and stop them from invading our Earth. So what do you guys think of that theory? I don't think it's too obscure considering that the Blight do exist and the Legion are fighting them at the moment in the future and I don't think the idea that they could switch the teleportation aspect of their storyline in the comics to time travel, I don't think that's too obscure. But anyway guys, do you think they will be the season 4 villains? Could they possibly pop up in season 3, like maybe at the ending of the season? And with them being a big thing in the Legion of Superheroes Superheroes comics, I feel like it would be a waste not to actually show them, and I think using them as a whole race of villains would be something very new for the TV shows, and I think it would be heavily welcomed. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.
service like Shabri Team.